Dr. Kennecott and Robert Kennecott are the two principal historic figures that we focus on at the Grove site. Dr. Kennecott was a horticulturist and a publisher of newspapers. You know, Dr. Kennecott was just a forward thinker. He was a medical doctor. He believed in having his kids eat fresh fruits and vegetables and thought that was the key to good health. He admonished his son Robert, the naturalist, one time and said you were eating too many frogs in Southern Illinois and you needed to eat more vegetables. So he was a firm believer in that and a promoter of that. Dr. John Kennecott thrived in the state of Illinois. He was editor of the Prairie Farmer magazine. He was a promoter of agriculture. He was the founder of the Illinois State Fair and he ran the first three Illinois State Fairs. And we have just reams of material about that. So it was very important for us. I think that the thing that he did that I find most interesting was he was the primary person behind the Land Grant College Act. And he was in Congress cajoling them to pass this act to, to give each state land that could either be sold or used for colleges and university. And when he was through with that, there were about 800 universities in America. He was just a remarkable person. His son Robert, who was our primary focus for a long time, was just as remarkable as a naturalist. He was the founder of the Chicago Academy of Sciences. He's made the first regional lists of the reptiles, amphibians, birds, mollusks, butterflies, insects in Illinois. And then he kind of left the grove and began exploring in larger and larger concentric circles, southern Illinois, northern Wisconsin, out to Minnesota on the Red River, eventually ending up on the banks of the Yukon River on a Smithsonian expedition, the second one that he took to what was Russian America at that time. And Kennecott is one of the four principal people credited with the purchase of Alaska. So if you add up all the acreage that Dr. John um, got from the federal government for the Land Grant College Act and all the acreage that Robert Kennecott helped to secure with the acquisition of Alaska, the family provided for this country about 400 million acres of land. Just an outstanding achievement. That's why the Grove is really structured in interpreting the lifestyle and attitudes of the Kennecotts. They were very progressive. They led this country in a, a direction. Dr. Kennecott's just been inducted, the 40th inductee of the Agricultural Hall of Fame with people like John Deere and Thomas Jefferson. They were major players in the 1800s in shaping the direction this country 